it's Jessica here. Welcome back to another episode of The Forest. So in the last episode, um, well, in the last two episodes, really, we've just kind of been stuck, um, not being able to really cook food the way we'd like to, not being able to really use things that we built the way we'd like to, like what happened over here with the rabbit cage and this log holder. These things just don't seem to do anything as of this time. So without further ado, um, we're going to go ahead and take a little journey. We're going to walk around. We're going to see what's out here. Um, hopefully we don't get killed in the process. And hopefully we don't get scared by our own effigies. That It, it keeps freaking me out every time I see it. I'm just like, it makes me think that there's a bad guy. Like, especially this one over here. It makes me think that the tribal men is standing right in my base. But that's okay for now. We're going to go take a journey. I'm going to start by going this way towards the beach um hopefully we can you know collect food and maybe other items i know that there's like some kind of cool items that we can find around or at least i think there's going to be cool items we can find around i mean i would imagine that there'd be other stuff to find that we just haven't found because we haven't gone anywhere so um I definitely know there's a flare gun in a cave because we've come across that in a previous episode. So we definitely have some stuff to go f to go look for. Uh, there's some money and some beer. I still have not drank any beer, and they say it's for crafting. Um, the interesting thing is, I don't know if crafting is actually even a thing in this game. To be honest, I don't have a clue. But I wonder. If you combine all of these things together. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we can actually make Molotov cocktails. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even think about that. But, uh, yeah, that can. What in the hell are you? Well, hello there. Um, I'd really like to know how you're doing that. Like, the whole flying without floating your wings type thing. Um, if you could let us know, scientists around the world would be thrilled to speak to you, okay? Yeah, um, great. Well, uh, have a nice day. Ha ha ha, evil bird! I, it, it doesn't die, either. Maybe I can't hit it. Yeah, well, anyways, um, that's a thing, apparently. At some point, I want to go out to those islands, too, and see what's out there. I think I've been this way in a previous episode. I remember coming, walking towards these mountains. So, apparently, um, the map doesn't change. I know that there were some people that thought that the map randomly kind of generates. That's not the case. It's just the spawn location that changes. And it doesn't seem to change a whole lot. Maybe that maybe that doesn't even change. That could just be my imagination, but I could, it seems like it changes. And I'm almost certain it changes. So, are these edible plants? I feel like they should be edible plants, but... Oh, ah. shit! That was not an edible plant. That was not an edible plant. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, those are the twin blackberries. Shit. I didn't even think about it. They're toxic. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us. Um, we did only eat one, I hope. Hope we didn't just like shovel a whole mouthful in, because that would not be beneficial to us in any way. So we're not actually that far from our camp. Okay, we've been down there before. I think we found stuff down there before. Um, interestingly, we have not come across any more groups of those. Tribals. Tribal men. Which is fantastic. I guess they're not just tribal men, though, because they're also 
they also always seem to have a woman who's running around naked too so um I guess they're all kind of running around naked but the women appear more naked than the men I guess the men kind of wear the loincloth ordeal what is this it's oh okay it's just some kind of tribal decoration I see we can oh wow look at all the leaves we can just farm the leaves a machete would probably be better for this but at least we're getting tons and tons of them I mean we've got almost 300 leaves at this point and increasing so I am okay with that there's a rabbit go ahead and get some food of course I should be looking for fish as well because at least we know we can cook well, no, we kind of figured that out, didn't we? We just have to babysit it. Seems like if we walk away from it, it doesn't work. I think we can eat these. Yes, yes, those are edible. This is the kind that we grow in a garden. Okay, cool. Yeah, fill up on berries. Those are renewable. They're replenishable. This should come back. Which makes me kind of wonder why my garden isn't doing better. But yeah, we're full now, so that's pretty cool. At least we know there's a whole shitload of them over there, which is pretty close by. Go ahead and get more leaves as we walk past these really leafy plants. So even if we just went back to camp right now, this trip would have been beneficial. So hopefully we do not die um, in some stupid way, because that would suck. But I am just kind of walking around the outskirts of the island. Or I assume it's an island. I actually don't even have a clue if it's an island or not. Kind of a mangled stump. I imagine that I cannot travel this way too far before it tells me not to go any further. All these plants with all these leaves on them. This is what you want to find. Like, this is your tinder. This is what, this is what you burn. This is your, these plants are the fuel. So. Is that a cave up here? Or am I just completely full of shit? Um, I might just be completely full of shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be something, but it's nothing. I kind of feel like I'm playing Tomb Raider, in a way. Kind of looking for the hidden caves and stuff. It's definitely interesting. I did not imagine that I would feel that way playing this game, but I definitely do. Can I eat these? No. I have no idea how far I can keep going. Apparently I can go a ways. And I can still keep track of where my base is. That item is like, it's, it's almost cheating. <laughs> it's almost cheating. I'm really curious about building the raft. I think we'll have to do that really, really soon. And just to see if it works. And if it does work, what like it's capable of doing. Because I just imagine if you had a raft and those tribal men started to chase you and you just kind of went out on your raft and floated in the middle of the lake. Like, they would have to give up eventually. Let's put some mud on us. I'm not real sure, like, what that does if it does anything at this point not even sure but um it might provide camouflage maybe it makes us a little harder to see 
masks are scent, maybe. Or maybe it just keeps the mosquitoes off. I mean, honestly, I think all three of those are like real life purposes for wanting to use mud. I don't know if they translate to anything in the game at all, so... I like that the terrain changes, you know, with the foliage and the types of plants. It's not all just the same. That's pretty cool. Especially for an alpha as as early as this. <sighs> it's kind of looking for caves and stuff. I don't really have any particular place that I want to go. I'm just exploring the map, I guess. That looks interesting over there. Kind of. I mean... Well, it just looks like a lot of rocks, actually. Ah! Uh, whoa! Oh my god, we found the other part of the plane! Holy shit! Oh my god, okay. So... There's a chance of, like, stuff being here, then. And there's a good chance of those tribal men being here, too. So let's be prepared. Holy shit. Well, we found the pilot. He's dead. He's very, very dead. There's somebody else dead over there, too. Shit. What happened to his face? Oh, man. Oh, it's full of glass. Damn. Yeah, well, pilots never survive. This is the exact reason for it. Alright. Let's chop up his body. No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. Let's check out the co-pilot and get his flare gun. Awesome! And currently there is no ammo limitation to this. You can just fire it as many times as you want at whatever you want. So we're going to use this in self-defense against some of those tribal men. Um, Man, okay, so we've so the, there's another section of the plane that's still missing. We have to find that. But I'm glad we found the cockpit. Um, <laughs> I'm really glad. Hopefully, we can find Bubba too, because I mean he's our kid and all, but we kind of stopped caring. About the fact that he was stolen from us. Mostly because we couldn't figure out how to play the game. <laughs> but I think now is kind of a good time to start looking for Bubba. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, it's some glitched terrain is all that was. Oh, look at how awesome this is. Look how dense and lush this is. Like you can barely see... I mean, I'm sure they can make it even more lush if they wanted to, but it's just fantastic. I, I absolutely love it. I truly feel like I'm out here for real. It's pretty cool. Uh, is there any is there gonna be any fish over here? We might actually be full up on the amount of fish we can even carry. If we see any ships come passing by, I, I don't know if we ever will, but at least we can fire a flare gun and signal for help. Also, that looks like another completely full-ass island that we can explore. This map is so huge. It's absolutely crazy. But I think we're finally coming to one of the... Uh, one of its limitations here. Oh yeah, definitely. That's awesome. 
Oh, look at that. It's just like a cliff face. So cool. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. All right. I hope we come across some berries soon. And I wish I could take my cooked food with me. I wish I didn't have to just eat it right there out of the fire. I'm assuming that that's going to be, you know, another one of those things you're going to want to fix. And also, you know, like, that in one of our previous episodes, maybe episode two or three, we just kept running into troops of those tribal, tribal dudes. And so far, we've only encountered... The original four that we killed and then dismembered and erected um, into effigies at our camp. But we have not come across any more of them, and we've been wandering for a quite some time now. So maybe the number of the tribal guys is a randomly generated number? Or maybe there's an issue that's preventing them from spawning. It just, I don't know. I'll leave that one up to you guys. You can let me know in the comments. I don't have a clue. I can't figure that out. I really don't even have any way to figure that out. I mean, they could just all be, like, somewhere else. That might be them. Is that is that a tribal guy? That might be a tribal guy. What the hell is that? That's not a tribal guy at all. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Okay, never mind. It played it played tricks on my eyes, is what happened. Oh shit, there's a tent way the fuck out there. What the fuck? How do I get there? Oh my gosh, no way. Oh crap, really? That goes a long way. I'm trying to hit the tent. I cannot hit the tent. No, okay. That's fantastic. Now we're stuck out here at night time. Um, we've gone a long way, and we don't have any food. This is not really good for us. We probably could throw a fire together and cook something that we have on us. That's probably a decent way to do this. But I want to be careful because this is... Um, an area it looks like they would probably inhabit. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, make our... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Make ourselves a fire. And we'll put some fish in there. And hopefully we can eat some fish in a minute. And then, after we eat our fish, uh, we might want to actually start heading back. But I, I, I think we'll, we'll continue on. There's no reason why we can't just stop and do this again. So. There we go. And then we can just move on.
So I guess the fires kind of work for like one-time food cooking usage, sort of. I don't know. It, it seems like if I were to go back there and try to put more food in there, it just wouldn't work. Because we've had issues with that in the past. So, I don't know. I have recorded a lot of these um, episodes just right in rapid succession, like one after the other. So, um, things that you've commented on in like the first few episodes and stuff up, and up, up till now... Um, I have not had a chance to, like, read the comments and then, you know, make changes that you guys suggest and things like that. So, if that's, if you're wondering, like, why things you've mentioned haven't been, like, listened to at all, it's simply because, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have access to those comments at the time, <laughs> so... And I, I kind of do that often. I just kind of sit down and record a whole slew of videos all out at once. So that's kind of uh, something you will see quite often on my channel. However, I would like to get to the point where I can do like a couple of videos a day. Um, maybe with like a couple of different games, you know, all going at the same time. And then releasing those videos on a day-to-day -day basis and getting feedback on um, on the gameplay. You guys can help me do things better. Some games I think I would like to, to do Let's Plays of. Well, some games I definitely know I'm going to do Let's Play of. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I am planning to do Let's Plays of that. And... Um, uh, you know, maybe some first-person shooters or something like that. We'll have to see. Um, I tried doing Doom 3 a, a, about a year ago and had such massive issues with the game. I wasn't even able to finish it, you know, and that was really disappointing. The game just completely stopped working on my computer, and still to this day, it does not work. I can't even get it to run anymore. It just gives me all kinds of errors. So I have no idea how to even play Doom 3 to finish it. But I, I tend to like these these alpha games because um, we're not going to be playing this forever, but we are going to play it as new changes roll out and we're going to kind of, you know, uh, watch the game grow up, so to speak. I've been kind of doing that with a lot of alpha games. And I haven't been recording it, and I have no idea why. I just haven't felt like hitting the record button before I play the game, I guess. It's kind of silly. There's a lot of stuff I could have had if I had just decided to record it. Um, sound effects change. That's why I stopped talking. It's It sounds like there's... Um, demons or something nearby. It just sounds really evil. I really want to find the other half of the plane. That would be fantastic. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. And I hope I don't freeze to death out here. I bet you that's going to happen. I'm going to get hypothermia because I haven't built a freaking fire. And it's nighttime and it's raining. Which, uh, okay, so there's the boat. So we've been here, um, in a previous spawn. In, like, the first episode, that this is where we spawned in at. Um, just up over there a little ways. So, yeah, there's, there's stuff here. There's medicine. There's baseballs, and there's money on this beach, which is kind of weird. got a bunch of cases that we get to open up. 
steal everybody's luggage. And then out on the boat, there's some chocolate bars and there's some flares and some cloth. So we'll have to go get that. The chocolate bars are going to be really helpful right now because we're kind of starving. Picking up all this money and stuff. It's like, what am I going to do with money? On the on this freaking abandoned ass place, which really reminds me of the beachfront in Tomb Raider, where it's like all the wrecked ships and nobody can get off the island because of the never-ending storms. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Let's eat a let's eat a candy bar, and let's go out here. Hopefully, we don't freeze to death. I actually don't know that um, that is a kill condition in this alpha yet. I don't know that if it can, that coldness can kill you. It has not killed me before, um, so I have no idea. Some beer, some chocolate bars, some cloth, and the seagulls, of course. All right, let's get out of here. There we go. Oh, and the impenetrable sea turtle that does not care if you slam your axe into its face. He's completely indifferent to it. He does not mind one little bit. Alright. So, it doesn't seem like the coldness is going to kill me. It seems like it should have done it already. Look at the sky! There's actually stars in it! That's awesome. I love it. That is incredible. Even if we are freezing, that's still fas fascinating. Okay, maybe the... You know what? Maybe since we landed over there, the other piece will be over here. What are the chances? Since... Uh... I don't know. There's some pretty big rocks. There's a stick. There's some leaves. Look at the leaves. I always like the leaves. And we don't seem to fill up on them. We seem to be able to carry tons and tons of them. So that's that's great. We have 411 we have, um, was that three flares? Thought we had more than that. Well, we have three. We have 28 coins. Even have people's teeth. Like, we're just ruthless. We're just stealing the teeth out of people's mouths. Like, we just, we crashed in that plane. And we were just a changed person from that point on. We were just like, no way, we are going to steal t the teeth out of your mouth. I don't know, it was a pretty pretty dramatic event. You stole Bubba, so I'll steal your teeth. Pretty sure that's how it went down. And are we back? Very nearly, I think. Yeah, there's our cabin there. So we didn't find the other half of the airplane. And we went around the whole island. We also did not find any other bad guys either. I hear footsteps, but that's probably a rabbit. It is a rabbit. It's running in place. Let's go put it out of its misery. No, they're... What the fuck? 
There's a whole bunch of tennis balls. Just right here, just all bouncing around. What in the hell? For some reason, I can pick up one tennis ball, and if I press the mouse button fast enough, it'll let me throw three of them. That's really, really alpha. <laughs> I love laughing about it. It's so silly sometimes. Damn it. I wish it would let me eat that fucking iguana. It pisses me off so much. Ugh. It's the most frustrating thing. What is that? Oh, it's a feather. Yeah, we don't want to trip our own up, our own frickin' device. Knowing me, we totally would, though. Alright, let's go chill in the cabin. And... We'll have to... Oh, did I not open this? Ever? I guess not. There's some chocolate bars in there. Some sticks and stuff. We'll have to light our fire and put some food in it. Put some leaves in it. I don't know how many it can hold. But since it's raining, I figure it probably needs a lot more. That's probably good. Let's go ahead and let's throw our rabbit in there. Oh man, okay, wait a minute. Let's let's go ahead and make some of these. So what happens when I use these? I'm really curious. Oh, the frame rate turned really shitty all of a sudden. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens when I use this. Right, well, um, we are pretty well defend- well, well defended against any potential bad guys, but I don't see any more of them. They seem to just be gone, which is nice and convenient for us. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a- call this an episode, and- I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.